Hi, my name is Campbell Gano. I'm with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife Aquatic Invasive Species Division. I'm demonstrating a plankton toe for you. The plankton toe is to look for veliger mussels, so juvenile uh, zebra and quagga mussels that live suspended in the water column. First, we're going to do a vertical plankton toe. Holding on to the edge here, this is the caught end at the bottom, the net with the weight. Dropping it over as straight down as we can. And drop it right to above the bottom and try to get as close to the bottom as we can without hitting it. Once it's about where we think it should be, drawing it back up. And we're gonna do that twice. So I'm gonna drop it back down. And do two draws. And bring it back up. As I bring it up, trying to dunk it and get the sample off the side to make sure it all ends up in the bottom. Swirl it around, get some of the water out. Removing the cod end at the bottom. Then taking the sample from in here, we're going to put in our sample bottle. Right, cap that back up. And that's it for the vertical draw. This is a horizontal toe, so we want to do a 100 foot toe just below the photic zone, so just below where the light enters, um, where most of them are going to be. So deploying it over the edge. You know that the photic zone is about 1.25 meters here. So you want to get just below that, pulling it down, and now we're going to drag it for 100 feet. All right, so we think we got enough sample. We will pull it back in, bringing it up, dunking it a few times, make sure to get the sample off the sides. Working all of it down into the cod end. Shaking some of that water out. We're going to put that into the same bottle as our vertical toe. Now, in order to break down some of the material inside, now that we have both samples, since there's a lot of sediment in there, we're going to add a little baking soda. Once we've got that added, we're going to fill the rest of the bottle up with isopropyl alcohol to preserve the sample. And we're good to go.